welcome back to my channel. So um, today is the my very first uh, requested video, um, and lots of you guys ask me to do my Louis Vuitton uh, bag collection, and I waited a little bit because I knew I'm gonna get a few bags for my birthday, so I really wanted to do this, uh, include those bags in that video. So. As you can probably see, I have a little Louis Vuitton problem, and um, I don't know, should I be proud of it or no? <laughs> I don't know, and I'm definitely a monogram person, as you can see, guys, and um, yeah, I branched out this year and, uh, and a little bit last year to get some other prints and other leathers, so I'm kind of proud of myself that I'm just you know, trying something new, but in my heart I am a monogram person, so <laughs> just for the record. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna go one by one and I think I'm just, I'm not gonna go to like very in-depth reviews or anything because I think this video will take forever, so I'm just gonna go as quickly as I can and still give you and show you um, the bags. Alright, so I guess I'll start with the smaller one first. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Eva Clutch, that I'm sure most of you are familiar familiar with, and obviously I have one in monogram with um, beautiful uh, Louis Vuitton here tag written across, and um, as many of you know, the Eva Clutch comes with the with this chain as well as the um, the crossbody strap. So uh, most of the time I do use the crossbody strap um, and I do use this bag quite a lot. Um, I would say at least two times a week and I, I take it with me to work so when I have to, um, one, of the, one of the jobs that I do is uh, I teach at the college so when I walk around the campus, um, you know, it's, it's kind of nice to just, you know, hang um, and just use it as a crossbody. And, whatever I have to go and, you know, just move around. So, yeah, I like the Eva Clutch very much. So, um, I like this bag and I use it quite a bit. And this one was, I guess it was made in the USA because it doesn't have the made in stamp. So, this is the Eva Clutch. Okay, the next one, which I've got from, I mean, the Eva Clutch I got from my husband too. This one I got from my husband as well. Um, this was a Christmas gift a couple of years ago. I think it was right before the price increased for this. And this is the new model, so it comes with the, you know, with the longer strap. But as you can see, it's pretty white <laughs> because I haven't really used it. So just to, you know, just to, let's compare to the this bag. I mean, look at the difference, guys. <laughs> yeah, I really want this, you know, little uh, pochette accessoire, but um, I really don't use it. And um, it's just sitting in my you know, in my, um, here I always keep the, um, the little, you know, airbag, but it's sitting in my closet, so I don't know, I might use it one day, I'm sure it's a little handy thing, but for some reason I, I don't know, but anyway, this one is made in spade, okay, so those are the two tiny bags, and now I've got two, Speedies 25. Let me just move this around so you guys can see them maybe next to each other. Um, yeah. Why do I have a two? It's a long story. So let's just <laughs> let's just leave it for next time. But anyway, uh, since I have two and I bought them pre-loft, so those are the um, uh, the bags that I bought from the uh, consignment store and. This one I borrowed to my mother-in-law, so she's pretty much using this one, but it has beautiful patina, you know, I love this honey color, it's so just beautiful, and she loves this bag. And this bag was made in the USA, and this is very old model, I don't really know how old it is, but it has this old kind of style hardware, and obviously you can see it's, I never really attempted to clean the hardware or the locks, so no, I don't really care much about you know, I, I like the way it looks, so, <laughs> yeah, so she is using this bag, currently I borrowed to her, since I have two, and I am using this one, and as you can see, I put a little bandeau here, 
so it looks cute and again comes with the lock and the key and um, the old style so it doesn't have you know like finishes here and this one was made in France so yeah okay so I have two speedy 25 all right now, one of the newest bags that I've purchased over the last winter is my Pochette Matisse. And I love this bag and I use it quite a bit. And this is the new model, so it comes without this leather top. And the way I store it, I usually keep my um, uh, the strap here inside. So I kind of roll it in and that's how I store it. So. I'm sure you guys are. And I did what's in my bag. And this is a great bag. If you are considering buying it, oh my god, it's beautiful. And it's, again, crossbody, so it's very easy to use, especially when you have to walk somewhere and move, you know, from building to building like I do sometimes. So, yeah, so it's perfect. So I love to use this one for work as well. Um, okay. Now, this is probably the very first... Uh, I think this was the very first brand new Louis Vuitton bag that I have purchased. Well, my husband purchased this one for me. Um, and it was about, I think, four years ago or so. It's Estrella. And this is the old model Estrella. So it comes with the Vachetta leather. But it's beautiful. When we went in Miami Beach and I went to the Louis Vuitton store and I look at this bag. It was like on display. And it was like... It was like pretty much love from the first sight. I just could not resist. And my husband was like dragging me out of the store and my eyes were just on, you know, on that bag. And I'm sure it was pretty a hideous, um, you know, picture because I was with my, you know, with children and a stroller and everything. And, and he was trying to get me out of that store. <laughs> so anyway, okay, little break. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, anyway, um, uh, you know, we left Miami Beach and, of course, we went home and I was, like, kept talking and talking about this bag and I just, I just could not stop it. So, um, it was my um, name day coming up and for those who don't know in Europe, and I'm from Europe, uh, we do celebrate the names, name days more, um, it's a bigger celebration even than the birthdays here in America. So, um, it was my name day coming up and uh, my husband decided finally to purchase this bag. He could not get over the price, obviously. It was a very expensive bag and it is discontinued right now, unfortunately, but it is a very, very, very beautiful bag. Um, let me just show you guys inside. That's a little dirty. But it comes with this very luxurious microfiber. Um, like finish and has like those big pockets here and two slip pockets and I believe it was made in uh, US because it doesn't have anything in oh yeah yeah oh this is where it says hope you guys can see it made in USA of important materials so um, yeah I mean it was beautiful so this was my very first brand new um, Louis Vuitton bag and I just adore this bag and to be honest with you I don't use it as much as I used to when I first got, first got it I probably had it for use it for like a one year straight I'm kind of have set, such a sentimental value this bag has to me that I'm kind of trying to preserve it but I still use it I just think it's great and most of the time I will carry with this two um, you know two uh, straps here um, I don't really carry with the shoulder strap so love it so this is the Estrella I think PM okay so let me just put this on the side quickly so after the Estrella guys we traveled to where did we go the Alabama so we went to the Alabama and of course I had to visit Louis Vuitton store and that's where I have purchased the Neverfull. I've kind of noticed after I've got my Estrella that lots of people carry the Neverfull. And at first I was like, you know what, I'm not going to get it because everybody else has it. So, I don't know, it feels like it was such an entry back to the Louis Vuitton, I guess. So everybody got it because it was relatively inexpensive. Well, it is still expensive, but... Um, I've got this bag right before uh, they changed the model that came with the little... Um, as you guys know, this little pouch, very thin, 
ridiculously thin. And um, I got it, I think, a month right before the price increase increases and uh, and they changed this little style a little bit. But um, so I only paid about eight hundred dollars for it. So I thought it was a great price. So and I was not even aware of the price increase. And I had that hot stamp. So that was my first piece hot stamp. So yeah. I very much do enjoy this bag and I use it mostly over the summer because it's like, um, you know, like guys open, you know the bag, it's open style um, bag and um, I don't know, like even though I live in the south and we don't have much of the, you know, harsh winter, it feels like an open bag is good for the summer. <laughs> so and this one again has the same, the same tag as my Estrella, it's made in uh, USA of important materials. So, yeah, so this one was the Alabama store purchase. So, um, yeah, I do like it very much. So, it has a nice patina, it's great back. Okay, so after I've got all of these back, I've decided to branch out and maybe get the uh, um, the Ebene print uh, back which is right here and this was pre-loved purchased uh, and I really do not like that bag I wore it a few times and even though this bag is in I think it's in pretty it's in pristine condition well at least outside um, I don't know I'm just not the Ebean person it's a great bag it's called I think it's called Tribeca and this is the larger uh, one they had also a smaller one um, it has here Louis Vuitton and it's beautiful I mean there's really no signs of use on this bag because this bag is just stunning um, the only problem it has the inside um, as you open and it's very little to be honest with you but there's like a tiny 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 little crack crack in the leather here and on the other side it's a little bit bigger so this is the only problem really with this bag um, the rest of it is perfect it's perfect inside, perfect outside, other than these two little spots. And has, um, let me show you guys, has this, this zipper pocket here, right here. And there's no peeling. I know some of the, you know, like a wallet or something will have the peeling or, no. This back is just perfect. There's just nothing wrong with this. So, other than these two places. And it was made in France. So, this is the Tribeca bag that I never use. I did use a few times, but um, came with the original dust bag, which is a little bit older style than not as yellow. It's like a brown um, drawstring ba uh, dust bag. But like I said, it's just not my not my style. <laughs> so I, I think I might consider selling this bag. Maybe I'll just put it on eBay or some or the um, Tretsy or something. I don't know. So anyway, this is the Tribeca bag. Okay, so um, this is the Speedy 30, and uh, what is that called? Edil? Edil? Uh, this is a cloth-like material, and it's like a chocolate brown with this beige print on it, and it's just beautiful, and has the black leather uh, trim and the black leather handle, and um, it's a bandolier, okay? So comes with the beautiful golden shiny lock and you have two zippers right here I'll just put the camera down a little bit so you have two zippers okay and I have it stuffed again just take it out show you guys. and uh, I have some junk in here <laughs> okay so it comes with the um, comes with the um, with the leather strap and this is the one that you can take the part of it and just make a you know shorter like a shoulder uh, back and um, yeah I mean it's very beautiful this bag I mainly use when we go on vacation and it's just because I shouldn't say it but it's just I don't care <laughs> so um, you know because it has all the here's the leather and here's the cloth and you cannot say if it's dirty or not <laughs> And if it's rain, it's just nothing happens. It's just dries and it's perfect. So um, the Speedy, the Speedy 30 is definitely my vacation bag. And mostly I will only use when we just, you know, go on vacation or just travel somewhere. This is what I'm gonna take with me. 
because it's just a worry-free bag. So, okay. So I have a few more bags to show you guys. Um, I think the last three. Um, this is my newest bag and I haven't used this one yet. And um, if you saw my um, birthday um, haul, Louis Vuitton haul, I, uh, I show you guys this bag and I said I bought it pre-loved. But the bag, in my opinion, is in pristine condition. There's whoever on that bag maybe use it once or twice or not at all. So <laughs> I score on that bag and I'm very happy because I got in such a low price to compare what they really sell on the Louis Vuitton website. And uh, it's beautiful and it ca came with uh, all, the, uh, all, the, all the golden hardware. So all the stuff is right in here, guys. So... Um, yeah, and all the stuff I put out here, all the information, everything came with the with the bag, and I'm really looking forward to using it. I did not use it yet. I'm kind of thinking to have this more as a fall bag. Um, so yeah, I'm loving it very much, and you know, once I use it a little bit, maybe I can do like a re review because this is my very first Ombrun leather, and the smell is just gorgeous and it feels very nice and luxurious, and I know. Um, the leather will kind of soften over time so yeah it's beautiful so I'm kind of looking forward to use this bag so this is the Lumines Lumines PM and the color is ombre 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 I think um, it's like a taupey uh, beige color all right so also one of the newest bag is my Retiro PM with the black trim that I also featured on my um, birthday video and I was debating originally to um, purchase this bag or not because like I told you guys in my birthday video I own the Estrella and I just thought they were kind of similar but um, you know Estrella is definitely larger and more like tote, tote like bag and uh, Retira is more like I think speedy kind of a bucket bag or something <laughs> I don't know how would you describe the best but I do love them both and I'm so looking forward to use them both and uh, I like the fact that this one has um, you know all the black trim so I don't have to worry about any uh, damage or you know like a water stains and I did clean my Estrella just by the way because uh, I got some water stains and I didn't realize at first that it's just gonna the, the water is gonna stain so I did clean it so it looks pretty good so yeah so this is the uh, Retira PM and this is one of my newest bag as well as the very last one which is my very first um, this is my very first um, vernis leather piece and this is Alma PM in Noir Magnetique um, which features the black hardware and black meaning some people say it's some people say it's like a gunmetal but it is more like an onyx color because it's very shiny black leather so I did use this back quite a bit because uh, I've got it probably like a month ago already because I couldn't wait and I asked my husband to get me sooner on my, for my birthday so I have been using already quite a few times and I do enjoy it very much although I really don't like the zipper. I don't know if this is the case with all the Almas that it's kind of difficult to you know to use it and zip and unzip like I really have to hold the back to do it so I just I don't know if this will get better at some point I don't know um, this is the only Alma that I have so I don't really know if there's a difference with the um, you know like a monogram Almas if the golden zipper is better than this I have no clue but I do love the back and I do enjoy using it and it's beautiful and it was made in France and um, yeah okay guys so here are all my bags and you know this is I think I know people have more and I just I just feel like this is pretty much enough and I'm very happy of what I have and the variety of bags that I have and uh, I don't think there's anything else as of now on my radar as well as far as the Louis Vuitton bags goes I'm looking forward to use my own prompt uh, piece and um, 
you know, possibly I'm gonna sell the Tribeca bag. Um, as you can notice, I'm very much into the um, the monogram. So yeah. So well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's not gonna be too long. And um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And please subscribe for more exciting videos. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.